Hello everyone, welcome back to Just Gaming for Fun. I'm Samuel, and today I decided to share my thoughts on GameStop. I think we all know about all the financial problems GameStop is in, and while others are worried because they don't want to see GameStop go away, there are others who couldn't care less if they disappeared. Now, for me personally, I can see GameStop finally dying off within the next 5-10 to 10 years. I could be wrong about that, who knows what can happen within that time, but that's just how I feel about it. But regardless, I wanted to imagine a world without GameStop, and I started thinking about how I would feel if GameStop didn't exist anymore. The obvious answer would be good riddance. The company has treated customers like shit for years. Trading in games was a complete ripoff. Used games had higher prices than newer games. New copies are opened ahead of time. A lot of times they'd rather you buy the used copies instead. They put these awful stickers on the cases that are a bitch to remove. Sometimes they would put a sticker under the sleeve, on the spine, on the actual cover art. That one there really pisses me off. Whenever you wanted to make your purchase, they would bombard you with all these offers like memberships, pre-orders, and just stuff that you don't want to hear. Refurbished consoles were a joke. If you're a collector, it's hard to find a game that is actually complete with its original case. And I'm sure we all hate all those pre-order exclusive bonus shit. Honestly, I think we can go on about this shit forever. But while GameStop has many, many bad policies in place, I'm sure many customers and former employees can tell you about some horror stories they have experienced. But I must ask you, was it all bad? Is it all doom and gloom? Like one of the first things people will say is that when I go there, the employees treat me like shit and act like they know more than me. I've heard a lot of people make this complaint and I don't want to discredit their experiences because it's most likely true. I just want to say I personally have never experienced that. Well, except one time from my ex and that was actually outside of GameStop. I don't know if she was trying to, but she gave off a feeling like she knew more about games than I do just because she worked at GameStop. Even though I own an NES, Super NES, N64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Switch, 3DS, Genesis, Saturn, Dreamcast, PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, PSP, PS Vita, Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and a gaming PC, and have been playing games constantly since 1994 when I was 5 years old. And as far as I know about her, she really only plays on PlayStation consoles. So yeah, make up your own mind on who knows more about games. But I could be wrong, she maybe does play on other consoles, I don't know for sure. Just most likely not as much as I do. And I'm not bashing her, because we are still on decent terms. I just wanted to point out that's what it felt like when talking to her, and maybe that's what people are experiencing when they go to a GameStop. It's like when you work at a GameStop, maybe without knowing it, you just come off as arrogant because you feel like, hey, the game industry revolves around me because I'm in the bloodstream. I'm the one selling it to the people. But what I can say is that the employees I dealt with were just normal people who loved games. Everyone I talked to was very polite. Sure, I would still be bombarded with 1,000 questions and offers, but they had no choice. That was their job to do so. And it could also be because I'm not oblivious when it comes to games. I know what I like, and I know what's going on in the industry, and I know what games are bad and which ones are good. So I never needed to ask their opinion on how a game is. But I'm sure there are many people like older parents and grandparents who didn't know anything about games and had to rely on their knowledge. I know in my area, the few local game stops I go into, from time to time, had pretty cool employees. We would chat for a bit while I'm making my purchase and then I would be on my way. So I guess I'm lucky enough to have never dealt with all the BS that others have. But in this day and age, GameStop isn't what it used to be. It used to be a place for gamers to buy and talk about games. As a kid, I wanted to work there and be surrounded by games and gamers. But looking back at it now, I'm sure as hell glad I never did. So for a few years straight, I completely ignored GameStop. There was no reason to go in there. I don't usually trade in games or consoles. And if I want to buy a game or a console, I would go to Walmart, Best Buy, or a local game store. The place I usually buy games from as of the last couple years is Amazon. I would personally find much better deals at those other places, especially Amazon. The most I would do is order something new from GameStop, like a new Amiibo or something like that. Still, never going into an actual store. And it was that way for years, at least seven to 10 years tops. So imagine my surprise, finally heading back to a GameStop in the last year and seeing how it is now. Sure, there are still games there, but there are way too many sections that are just clothes, toys, figures, and way, way too many Funko Pops. Don't get me wrong, I like game merch as much as the next person, but it's usually not what I'm looking for when I walk into a GameStop. I almost didn't recognize the place. I was like, what the fuck happened here? While it could be seen as a plus, for me, it just seems like they are desperate to make up sales because people aren't buying games from them. 
as much anymore, and that is kind of the case, but my opinion has slightly changed within the past year. While for the most part, I still see GameStop as irrelevant, but they do still have their uses. While I would never order a pre-owned game from them online, because you never know if the game will have its original case, I tend to go hunting at a few GameStops for older pre-owned games for older consoles. And luckily, I have found some great deals on the original Xbox and PS3 games. And quite recently, I've been Switch game hunting and comparing prices for games at multiple stores. And recently, I have been able to find some awesome games for the Switch brand new that were cheaper than my other go-to stores. I also ordered my Doom Eternal Collector's Edition from them and I'm very excited for that to come in. And recently I walked into one and bought my wife a Switch. I think GameStop does still have their purposes and I think I will miss a few instances when they are gone for good. Like I have no problem going in there and buying a brand new game for whatever reason. It's not like it's any different than any other store. And I know some people may not like that the seal is broken on new games. For me personally, I couldn't care less. As long as it still is in new condition, like no scratches and shit like that, I'm good. And sometimes you can get lucky on pre-owned games, but I recommend you only buy those in person if you like having a complete version. And I have had some good times at a GameStop as well. I remember being at the midnight launch of Gears of War 2. I had a fun time being there with my wife and her brother and his girlfriend. The anticipation was awesome, and being around so many gamers equally excited for this game was fantastic. I was so excited when I picked up my collector's edition of Gears of War 2, which I still own. The moment I got home, my wife and I booted it up into our 360 and played all night. Well, technically I did because she was too sleepy and bailed on me halfway through the game when we got to the scariest part of the game with all those damn sires. Look out! But I pushed on and by the time the sun came up, I was watching the end credits. It was a wild night. That was truly an amazing experience. I, I missed when I could beat games in 8 or so hours. I'm so tired that every game has to have over 100 hours of gameplay or, or something like that. Games today overstayed their welcome in my opinion. I don't know what this fascination is with they need to be longer and longer and longer. I don't need every game to last me months and months and months to finish it. Just give me a game I can beat within a couple hours, maybe even like a couple days or a week at the most. I'm tired of games oh, taking months to beat. It's just way too long. Of course, that's just my opinion. You may think differently. But another thing I feel bad about when it comes to GameStop are the employees. As mentioned before, the ones I have talked to have all been decent and very fun to talk to. So I feel bad that these people are going to lose their jobs simply because the company is a piece of shit and is running their stores into the ground. And I'm sure when kids still walk in, they feel that magical feeling from being surrounded by so many games. Sure, they could get those same games at Walmart or Best Buy, but there is something different about being inside a store that was built for games. Sure, we, we are all jaded now because we see how GameStop really is, but think back to when you were a kid and when you would walk into a Funko Land or an EB Games, or even a GameStop, it felt magical, didn't it? And even though I think GameStop is mostly irrelevant in this day and age, I would like to see them turn a new leaf and finally correct this ship, because the more places we have to buy games, the better. This way we can still find great deals. The last thing we want is a single store to have a monopoly. For me, while I have said many times, who cares about GameStop closing, they can go to hell. I feel a bit different now, simply because I found some uses for them. Sure, they aren't perfect as of now, and who knows, maybe Reggie can fix GameStop. If you haven't heard, GameStop has hired the man himself. So you know Reggie, his body is ready, and maybe he can help turn this company around. Probably too late in reality, but who knows. Let me know how you feel about GameStop at this time. Do you want them to stay and succeed or close up shop and rot in hell? If you have any interesting stories about GameStop, good or bad, please share. I love talking to other gamers and hearing other people's thoughts, stories, and opinions. I want to know if your experiences have been mostly good or have they been like all the stories we hear online. I just refuse to believe everyone has a shitty experience there. So if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like because it helps me out. And if you want, you can always share the video around. I always appreciate it. If you want to see more from me in the future, you can always hit that subscribe button. And if you just can't get enough of my thoughts, you can also follow me on Twitter. Links will be in the description. So until next time, stay safe out there and keep on gaming gamers.